everybody, it's Marie Deemer back again and welcome to my kitchen. Today I want to highlight our citrus lime no-bake cheesecake. You can throw it together so fast, you don't need a lot of ingredients, so it's handy to have on hand. And once you've made it up, you can toss it in the freezer, even handier. So um, there's very few ingredients in this. You can use either a stand mixer, like I have here on my counter, or you can use a hand mixer, doesn't really matter. And you just toss in one eight ounce block of cream cheese, any cream cheese you like, and the package of seasoning. And we're going to put that in the stand mixer with the paddle attachment and just beat it until it's smooth. It's important to make sure that your um, cream cheese has softened somewhat before you start this process. I'm just going to scrape down the sides. That's almost done. I just want to make sure that it's all incorporated. You could see the when I was dumping in the, um, the seasoning package for the cheesecake that it was kind of fluffing up a bit. I just want to make sure there's no puddle of the seasoning at the bottom of the bowl. Now, you know if nobody was watching, I'd be doing this part with my fingers. Okay, that's the cream cheese and the uh, cheesecake seasoning. You didn't see that. So, it also calls for the zest and the juice of a lime. I happen to have fresh limes here because I like slices of lemons or limes in my ice water. I tend to drink more water when I have that. Uh, but you don't have to have fresh. You can always use the uh, lime juice uh, from the bottle. And anytime I'm doing anything lemon or lime, if it says one, I'm making it two because I always like the extra punch of citrus, but that's entirely up to you. So I have the zest of a couple of limes, maybe the zest of three, because I know I'm gonna slice one and put it in my water. And you can either use a zester, if you don't have that, you can take the top surface of the green part of the skin off with a fork. So because I have the fresh limes on hand that I've already zested, anytime you want more juice out of a fresh lemon or lime, you roll it first. That loosens up the juice, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to bring this up, I'm going to show you our citrus press. It's made for both lemons and limes. As you can see, there's a smaller portion here if you are doing a lime and a larger portion if you are doing a lemon. Holes in the bottom so the juice comes out, the pits and the pith don't. You would think it would make sense to stick it in here just like the shape of the lime, but no. You're going to put it in upside down like this and we're going to squeeze it. And when we squeeze it, it's going to turn the skin completely inside out. Now, this looks a little odd because I've already zested it for the cheesecake. I'm gonna grab a bowl, excuse me. Just so I can show you um, the zesting process. These uh, limes were quite ripe, which is always nice. Squeeze it together like that. And let me show you. That has almost turned completely inside out, which means you are getting all the goodness, all of the juice, and none of the guck. And because it calls for one full line, that would be these two halves. And I am going to um, put a second one in. I'm not worried about it being too loose when I whip it up because there's so much cream cheese in here. Um, when it goes in the fridge, it'll harden up just fine. And I want the extra punch of lime. So I put lots of zest in. I put the juice of about a lime and a half. These limes weren't very big. And I'll keep licking my fingers. So all I've done is mix the cream cheese with the seasoning package, the juice of the limes, and the, um, the zest. 
of the lines. And now what it says to do is gradually whip in um, some cup and a half of whipping cream. You can still use your blade on here. I'm going to switch that up and put it to my whip attachment. Excuse me. Now that there's no, um, now that there's liquid in there and it's not just the straight cream cheese, I'm going to switch up the attachment and use the whip attachment makes it a little lighter when I add the cream cheese to it. Okay. And now all I have to do is put the whip attachment in and I'm going to gradually beat in the whipping cream. This is the slickest dessert you're going to have. I love it. Okay, for a crust, you can use whichever crust you like. We just happened to purchase one, a graham cracker crust at Metro. You could use little tart shells that were pre-cooked. It doesn't matter. But we just like the graham cracker crust. Turn it over. You've got a lid for it in the freezer. This is almost done. That's it. Even with my talking, we're looking at maybe six minutes. Maybe. I like the fact that it's no bake and I like the fact that you can have it ready and in your freezer and somebody comes, you can still slice it. It's not gonna get rock hard on you. You can still slice it and it thaws out super fast and it makes you look, you know, semi-organized. So now all you have to do is put this no big cheesecake into your crust. I mean, seriously, how easy is this? I've seen them dressed up where their people have bought an extra fresh lime and sliced it, you know, made decorative half circles on the top of the cheesecake for fancy serving. You can always put um, cream cheese dollops with a cake decorator, but to be honest, this cheesecake is so yummy. I'm going to throw this in the freezer. If I decide to get fancy in my old age when I thought out, I might do that. But it really doesn't need anything more to decorate it up. There you have. Yes. I'm done. Oh God, it's so good. There is a no-bake lime cheesecake, all ready to go. You can put it in the fridge. Um, if you make it earlier in the day, you can throw it in the fridge and still have it that night for supper. I, however, I'm gonna freeze it because I know that um, we are going to have lots of treats this weekend with all the leftover Halloween candy that accidentally made it into our house. So I'm gonna throw this in the freezer. Thank you so much for joining. Um, and I hope you get a chance to try this. I believe the, um, the solution packages come in a set of two um, and super easy to have on hand.